this is Nikki and I'm here to share the messages that I get from spirit and from all of our higher selves that are on this journey to love. And so I'm going to share a message today which is a letter from these divine love letter books that I do which are all channeled letters from your twins, from your higher selves, from any of your soul group or any energy that you need some guidance from. And if you'd like a channeled letter for yourself then it is only um, $10 and all of the details are in the link. And so um, the message to deck, well, the song is Bed of Roses. And there is a link, uh, there's a, there is a lyric in the song, which is, um, I want to lay you down on a bed of roses, but tonight I will sleep on a bed of nails. And... That is really what um, the feeling is today. It's that feeling of feeling a little bit like tired and kind of like, oh, I just want to be with you in a bed of roses. And um, I just did a quick so, sort of like um, group, group healing thing. And uh, I asked for a you know, because um, I see everything, I asked for, give me a message, what you want us to know. And I saw, you know, like, uh, basically, when you go to fall off a bridge, and the hand comes out to grab you, and it grabs you around the wrist. And um, so just as you think that you're going to drop, a, a hand comes and grabs you around the wrist and pulls you back up again. And um, of course, it was the, the your twin pulling you up because it just feels like you're just dropping and you've got no, there's no hope left, right? But just as that happens, then the hand comes down, gets you and put, yanks you back up, which I think is very, 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 um, explains exactly what I feel the energy is like today. Um, that we need a bit of, that it feels like that thing that we're falling, falling, falling and we need to remember that we are always going to be saved. So, um, and then when I got the letter, it's letter number seven that I'm going to read from the books and then it explained exactly why, uh, because it explains exactly why we're feeling this way. If you're feeling that sense of like you're falling falling, falling off a bridge and you're just hoping for that lifeline. So, that there is nothing that would keep me from you. So you can just stop worrying and stop whatever is going on in that pretty little head of yours. You just need to relax. Stay in your knowing and in your power. The more confident you are in our future and just knowing that we are going to spend the rest of our lives together, no question the more that I will stop fretting and think of all different scenarios why I need to protect myself in case it doesn't last. See, I'm afraid of giving in completely to love in case in six to 12 months you turn around and say, it's not for me. I'm terrified of the thought of losing you when I've really had you. That's why I need you to be ultra secure, ultra confident in the knowledge that no matter what, our future is certain, it's set in stone, and as sure as the moon follows the sun, believe in me, believe in us, believe in our future. So, um, so that's from book one, and so there is that sense I can barely, I can't bear the thought of having you because I can't bear the thought, thought of letting you go, which is exactly what, you know, but then in the vision that I saw today, it was like, but actually they're the one that saves you. So if you feel like you're falling, um, then it's their hand that reaches out and pulls you back up. So number seven from book two is this, that it's really difficult for me at the moment. I have to protect my situation and that means closing myself off to you for now. But that doesn't mean that you should freak out because you need to know that I need to go through this process so that I can be more responsive. I can come back to you, that I can be who I want to be with you. But in order for that to happen, there's a whole chain of events that need to happen in my life first. For me to be free to come to you, 
and be with you, I have to free myself first. So don't panic, don't freak out, follow your path and know that ours will meet up along the way. Oh. Well, that is, again, you know, that's so, lo again, I mean, I always say it's so lovely, but it is because it just makes you realise that it's like, it's okay, you know, our path is going to meet up along the way. Um, and we just have to do, I have to set myself free first. So, letter seven in book three. I feel it too, the intense longing, the intense pain, the endless questioning and thinking, how is this all going to happen? How can we be together? How are our families going to be together when we are together, 100% together? I want us to be all one big happy family, your kids, my kids and us. That's what I want more than anything, but how? I feel it more and more and I want it more and more. I sometimes cycle for hours and hours just wanting a way forward to come to me, to pedal my way to a future where we exist, coexist and co-belong together. My heart is yours for certain. Now, um, again, that is so lovely because it's I ke I keep getting this thing about. Uh, there was this one time that my twin said to me, and it was right, really, really early on, and uh, he said to me, "Oh, if we just have an argument now, then we've basically done all stages of the relationship in one day." And um, which I thought at the time, I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. I mean, it was pr pretty much only the second time I'd met him, but he was kind of excited that we'd had this kind of, um, this like little disagreement. Because it was like, he was saying, oh, we've almost done all the things of a relationship. And I just thought that's so sweet that you said that. And that is definitely, again, the, um, the message is that it's almost like, they want to be in a relationship already, you know, they want to have skipped all through those stages and they just want to be even, you know, even the thought of having like an argument is like a nice thought because you're just tight, you're tight together, right, in this relationship and you've gone through all that beginning stages. So again, I mean, it just shows how lovely it is. And, you know, the image that I got this morning was so powerful because it was that, like, I felt myself falling, but then it was his hand that grabbed my arm and pulled me back up again. And so if you feel yourself that you're kind of like in a bit of a free fall today, um, then just trust, 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 trust that it is your, you know, that is, again, the other thing is to always remember that you're manifesting everything in your life at the perfect time. So divine timing is everything. It is everything. It is about really, really trusting in that and knowing that if you do have, feel a bit sad, then that sadness is coming again just, you know, for a reason, right? So it's about... Again, appreciating that we're all taking the, our bit of the pie and we're all that collective energy that's around. And so it's being able to look at it objectively, but to keep that solid trust in the universe and that solid trust in your twin, your union, your reunion, right? And your creation. So this is the other little book that I am doing, which is a book of mantras. And um, the mantra is number 20, and it is, our vibration is as powerful as the sun, the moon, and the stars. So the idea is, is that when I do this book, it's 60 mantras um, for 60 minutes. So when you look at the clock and it gives you a minute, you then pick the relevant minute to look at the, the number, and then you repeat this mantra for 60 seconds. When you repeat the mantra for 60 seconds, it will raise your vibe, no doubt. So it's our vibration is as powerful as the sun, the moon and the stars. Our vibration is as powerful as the sun, the moon and the stars. And the number was 20, which is two, which is also a reunion. 
So there you go. That is the message that they wanted to say today. And it is very, very powerful. I feel that there's that, you know, again, the lyric in the song just explains exactly the energy around today, which is that I so want to lay you down in a bed of roses. But tonight I'm going to have to sleep on a bed of nails. But in the end, it will be their hand that reaches out for you and pulls you up and gets you over that bridge. The bridge between the 3D and the 5D. The bridge between fear and love. The bridge between the miracles of life and living the big dream, right? And so that's the other thing. If you're feeling pushed at the moment or in challenging situations, it's to push you further and further and further into your dream life. And to trust that everything is manifesting in the perfect time for you, in the perfect time for your reunion, in the perfect timing to live your soul truth. All right. I hope that helps. If you want to have a healing or a reading, I'm doing a three for two special. Um, if you want to have a letter, it's only $10. If you want to buy the books, um, then all details are in the link. I would wait to buy book one until um, Tuesday of next week. Other, if you're wanting, because there has been a print issue with book one, but it's all fixed over the weekend. So book one, book two. So book one, wait till Tuesday. Book two and three, no problem. You can order them now, no problem. All right. I hope that helps. Take care. Bye.